Do you guys remember Jay from the Subway videos? I basically said he believed in zodiac signs and chakras and third eyes. See, I'm someone who doesn't really believe in that sort of stuff. Oh, hey, Black Zen. Hey, James. So Jay was trying to teach me about energies and vibrations, and he told me about this YouTube channel called Infinite Waters, parentheses, diving deep. Now on this channel, you will see videos like what I eat in a day as a vegan, how to stop burning bridges with people, seven amazing tips that will turn you into a self-loving whiz. But he also has videos like how to open your third eye, so I don't necessarily agree with everything he says on his videos, but I really like him and you should check him out. And the creator of these videos named Ralph, I just love how he starts off every single video. He goes, peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Can I get a hello there? And it is super peaceful and I recommend it. And on a lot of his videos, he talks about doing a seven day vegan challenge, seven day vegan challenge, seven day vegan challenge, seven day vegan challenge. You know, for the amount of times you bring up the seven day vegan challenge, you'd think it would solve all your problems, which is why I, James, have decided to partake in the seven day vegan challenge. But I'm going to call it the seven day vegan challenge, baby. Solves all your problems. Can't get enough sleep? Seven day vegan challenge, baby. Can't find your car keys? Seven day vegan challenge, baby. People keep interrupting you? You wanna die? Seven day vegan challenge, baby. All these lame-o pleb YouTubers doing these lame-o pleb challenges, like, like, why does this exist? While they're doing this, I'm actually going out of my way to suffer for a whole week for views. I did some research into what was vegan and apparently Reese's Puffs and Oreos are vegan. Well, this is gonna be super easy. As of recording this, I have already completed the seven day vegan challenge. And I've kind of delayed making this video because being a vegan has changed me. So while I was doing the seven day vegan challenge, I wrote this log after each day. I'm not gonna read all of it, just the first and last day of the challenge. Because days two through six can pretty much be summed up in <laughs> So this is what I wrote at the end of day one. My rations are already very low. I was not prepared for this. I'm the kind of person that will snack on Cheez-Its and trail mix throughout the day. But now I can't do that because I have to think of the freaking animals. Every time I'm around food, I just have to keep screaming vegan, vegan in my mind so I won't unconsciously take a handful of Cheez-Its. I went shopping for food today and everything I wasn't allowed to eat looked super good. I was even craving the food that I've never bought before, like Hot Pockets. Who likes Hot Pockets? I accidentally bought bread that contained honey, which I don't know if that's vegan or not. If you've learned anything from the bee movie is that bees have no purpose if they're not making honey. I'm in for a long week. I'm already fantasizing about what I'll eat as soon as the challenge is over. I'm thinking of 4 by 4 from in and out I'll try to write tomorrow. And then after that long week was over, this is what I wrote for day 7. In a few hours, all my problems will be fixed, and I will be an immortal being. But I'm gonna throw that all away because tomorrow I'm gonna drink milk again. I've completed the vegan challenge, but I don't feel that accomplished. The best way I can think to describe what I'm feeling is... Oh, it's over. I remember when I started the challenge, I was thinking about all the food I was going to eat once I was done, but now I'm just not craving anything. Still though, I'm probably never going to do this again. While I was doing the challenge, I went to Sprouts and bought microwavable veggie burgers, and when I cooked them up, they smelled like throw up. So see if you can tell how much I was trying to hold back throwing up in this video. So today we were going to try these veggie burgers, and as I was, as I was cooking it, it sort of smelled like throw up. <laughs> And it almost made me throw up. So we have we have the burgers and tomatoes, and lettuce. Oh, okay. I'm just. Oh, I'm really hungry right now. Here's a veggie burger. We're gonna. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try and eat this. Hopefully, it, you know, tastes better than it smells. By the way, that was vegan cheese in the video. I didn't just put normal cheese on the veggie burger, guys. Okay, I'm not a heartless creature, I care about cows. You know, the internet really loves to just hate on vegans, but I don't think it's as bad as the internet makes it out to be. Of course, there will always be jerks in any group of people, and you shouldn't think that you're better than someone else just because of what you eat. Also, I want to mention that while I did the vegan challenge, I would lose my breath just by going up the stairs. Some vegans would probably say that I was malnourished, 
and I probably was. This video was probably going to get some down votes from some angry vegans, even though I'm about to compliment them. I think it takes a lot of self-control to do what vegans do. I don't know why anyone would purposely do that. I admire anyone that puts so much care and thought into their diet. I mean, ever since the challenge was finished, I've been trying to eat healthier and... I don't want to brag or anything, but I bought whole wheat waffles the other day, so mm, I can feel my bones getting stronger. So, in conclusion, unfortunately, the seven-day vegan challenge, baby, solves all your problems. Did not solve all my problems. But even if it did solve all my problems, I still probably wouldn't be vegan. I would still drink milk. You know, because that's what makes ice cream and cheese and nachos. You think I'm exaggerating, but no, you would have to pay me a very pretty penny to get me to be full vegan. Like, no joke, a minimum of a billion dollars. Am I glad I did the seven day vegan challenge? Yes, I am. Then we got some organic pancake syrup. I think pancake syrup itself is organic too, but we're just going to eat it again. Look, look, uh, where does it say it? Non GMO. Non GMO. Non GMO. I haven't had a GMO in days.